pizza delivery for um, Madonna. <laughs> I know that's not really your name. I've been doing this quite a long time. I once had a pizza delivery for Cher and was so excited to deliver for her, but it ended up being another young kid just like yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were just having some fun. Oh, 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 that'll be twenty dollars and twenty-eight cents. Sure. Uh, here's, here's twenty-one. You don't have 28 cents? No, but I could get it though. Oh, no matter. I have your change right here. Thanks. Uh, how did you get in here? I'm pretty sure the gate was locked. It was. I called your phone several times, but you never answered. So I waited for the first tenant to come on in. So I followed him up. Wasn't that clever? Yeah. Well, have a good night. Get home safe. Who's hungry? We got pizza? Hell yeah, we got pizza. It's the perfect party snack. I thought we were getting Chinese. Oh no, Lee. See, we're ordering food, not hookers. Was that racist? No, because you're commenting on Lee's taste in women, not the ethnicity of hookers. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, well, hookers are Asian, right? I don't even think most hookers are Asian. At least not the ones I know. Speaking of hookers, did you tip the pizza guy? Oh shoot, I forgot to tip the pizza guy. And why is tomorrow spelled incorrectly? I don't know, it's not my handwriting. You have a tip for me? Yeah. I thought so. As I've said, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, well, good thing. Here's a little something for your trouble. Ooh. This is only three dollars. Is that not enough? Well... 15% gratuity on $20.28 is $3.04. You must have some penny somewhere. You only gave me two pennies. Oh, I did? Here. And here's another dollar. Why, thank you. That makes 19.92% gratuity. How did you do that math? Well, as I've told you, I've been doing this a long time. I'll bet that you were born in 1992. How did you know that? Isn't life funny? <laughs> so if you want a guaranteed laugh, you should put a plant in the audience. Plant in the audience, got it. All right, thanks. Oh, you all right? I think I was just violated by the pizza guy. Yeah. Jake just left. Lee and I are going out. Want to join? No, thanks. I'm not feeling too great. I'm going to go to bed early tonight. Is it because of the pizza? No, probably not. Well, you told me when you were younger you used to have problems eating pizza before bed. Yeah, that was years ago. It's probably something else. Maybe I'm just stressed out. You gonna be right for the show? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Right. Oh, I hope I'll be fine. Hello? Eric? Lee? You back already? Did one of you knock? I'm awake now. Hello? Hello?
God, what a nightmare. Oh, 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 you're fine, Paul. Oh, okay. Just gotta get some sleep for the show. Oh, gotta get some sleep for the show. Oh, 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 gotta get some sleep. Gotta get some sleep. Yes? Rise and shine, cause it is show day. We've all been waiting for a show day. Been waiting all week for show day. I'm making bacon, cause it is show day. It's show day. Woo! You're fine, you're fine. Just another show. We're gonna do it. I'll be right there. You guys ready? Why are you wet? Did you miss? <laughs> oh yeah. Because I peed on myself. <sighs> you alright? Yeah, what's wrong with you? Paul, did you get any sleep last night? Enough. Why are you guys so nosy about me? We got a show to do, aren't you excited? Yeah. Let's get excited. Yeah. Um, do, do we do we have everything? What do we need? Uh, poster board. Check. Um, marshmallows. I have those. Okay. Uh, the plant in the audience. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then um, let's have a good show. All right. Let's, All right. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay. I'm right behind you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your cast of Pity Applause. <laughs> Our first scene is Mallow Mania. The actors will attempt to perform a dramatic scene and must put a marshmallow in their mouth every time they get a laugh. As suggested by the audience, the location is... The hospital! This is Mallow Mania. You wanted to see me, Dr. Brewster? Yes, we got your results back, Billy. And I'm afraid you might want to take a seat. I'm not. Say what you have to say and get on with it. You might have to take a seat for this. All right. And then say what you have to say and get on with it. I will. Billy. So the other day, we did an x-ray because you fell off your bicycle and we were afraid you broke your leg. And obviously that didn't happen. But in the x-ray, we... <laughs> Come on, doctor, I can take it. In the x-ray... <laughs> In the x-ray, we did find something else that was quite concerning. Concerning to who, doctor? To everybody who saw the x-ray. I didn't know my x-rays were up for observation. We did see. What kind of hospital do you run here, Dr. Brewster? We had to call in more doctors. <laughs> we had to call in more doctors because of the concern. You see, on your x-ray, we saw <laughs> Stop dancing with all this fancy medical jargon, Dr. Brewster. <laughs> Where do you have to say I can take it? <laughs> we found a cutlery set in your colon. <laughs> we found a cutlery set in your colon. <laughs> <laughs> In playbook, one actor improvises while the other can only read from a script. The page they will start on is 314. This is playbook. Him I like, he gives me a laugh with a dress and that little giggle in the red wig. <laughs> you know I can hear you. You flatter me. <laughs> What's the theme of the show? Ooh, it's a, it's a costumed ma masquerade. <laughs> why, why couldn't you get me in this show? Well, you're not talented enough, dear boy. <laughs> Maybe next year audition time will come quickly, so you must prepare. I got you on the show! <laughs> well, I, what you do in your spare time is of no importance to me. I auditioned, I got in fair and square. 
You ain't got me on the show. But when you talk like that, it's, no, let me finish. <laughs> Can't you wait until I'm through before you say no? Can't we discuss it for a minute? <laughs> you got one minute. Go. They said to me the history of comedy in the United States would not be complete unless they included one of the greatest teams ever to come out of vaudeville, Lewis and Clark. The Sunshine Boys, the vice president of CBS said this to me on the phone. You know, you might have something there. You might just have something there. The Perhaps vice president said this. Perhaps I could speak to the dear boy. Then let him go on with that bastard. Excuse you. <laughs> Whatever you think you know about private matters is neither here nor there. And hitherto, hitherfore, henceforth, you will never speak up to me like that again. You're not happy. You're miserable. <laughs> I'm happy. I just look miserable. <laughs> oh, damn you, Chester, damn you. You always know just where to stick it. <laughs> just where to stick it to make it hurt. <laughs> That's why you're not in the show. It was a personal decision. I'm sorry. I'm a good agent, damn it! Don't say that to me, Uncle Willie! I'm a goddamn good agent! Don't you, just because your, your father is my brother doesn't mean I won't lay down the hurt on you! It's my fault you get excited! It's your fault! It's your fault! I'm excitable! I'm excitable! I'm going. I don't even want to discuss Go, leave, this leave. anymore. Go, leave! You're impossible to talk to! Chester, forget the variety show! Chester, shush! Shush your mouth, Chester! I don't care! I never will! I never have! Your brother died! He left you to me! And I don't care! You're 30 years old! You can live on your own! Good! Take care of yourself! I Stay think, alone in my name, Phyllis! I think I will! And Phyllis, you fucking... You know Phyllis passed away! You piece of shit! My personal opinion? Lousy! Oh! <laughs> Lewis anymore. Was it who? <laughs> Are you talking about? I don't discuss Al Lewis anymore. <laughs> You're talking about the old neighbor boy. I haven't seen him in 11 years. Neither have I. I haven't spoken to him in 12 years. Well, what's become of him? <laughs> Tell me, what's I, become of him? I can't believe that. Oh? <laughs> you don't know, you can't believe I don't know? It's been Something I don't know? <laughs> yes. I, yeah. hate, I hate him. Eleven years more. You hate him. You'd like to see him for. Yes, I never hate him. You never. You don't see him for eleven more. more years. I understand. I hate him eleven years more. Well, I have to tell you something, Chester. It's about Phyllis. And what was that other name? Al. It's about Al. Oh, Al Lewis. Yes. <laughs> They're still with us, Chester. <laughs> Uncle Willie, could can I make a suggestion? <laughs> I think you're going to uh, say yes or no. <laughs> the finger! The what? finger! He would poke me in the chest with the finger! I did nothing! He would say, listen, doctor, Who are you I'm telling you, doctor, you know what I mean, doctor! Hurts, doesn't it? How'd you like it for 43 years? I got a black and blue hole in my chest. My wife of her dying day thought it was a tattoo. I haven't worked with him in 11 years. It's just beginning to fade away. The man had the sharpest finger in show business. Phyllis, is that you? <laughs> Phyllis, are you in there? Not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Phyllis, something magical is happening. You're channeling through Chester. Dear Chester, Phyllis, talk to me. What is it like on the other side? I'll put it in the contract. If he spits at you, you won't get paid. Phyllis, <laughs> you're talking in riddles. You're talking in rhymes. I understand. As an actor, no one can touch him. As a human being, no one wanted to she touch him. She speaks of me. <laughs> she never touched me. Nobody did. So what do I tell CBS? <laughs> you tell them. I'm going on that stage. I'm going to light off that stage. We don't have that much time. <laughs> CBS is waiting to hear. You give me that. You just give me that moment. I'll seize it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm dialing. I'm dialing. I'll here. do it. Dial. Tell him. He's coming. He's coming, Phyllis. Tell him. I can't do that, Uncle Willie. God. Oh, Chester! God, I hope Chester's I back! It's ringing. <laughs> what are they saying? He's got to be home. I told him I would call about one. Oh, I'm about to go in. Hello? I'm about to go home. <laughs> Mr. Lewis? Hey, Silverman? Yes. Miss Lewis! Hey. I'm here with him now. <gasps> it's, it's okay, Mr. Willis. Uncle Willie said yes. I, what did I say yes to? What did I say yes to? No, he's very anxious. He's very anxious to do it. <laughs> oh, what could it be? Who's anxious? I'm anxious. <laughs> I'm against it! I'll tell him! Oh, 
You lousy nephew. Was that, was that my uncle? Can you come here for a rehearsal on Mondays? I'll be here. I'll be here Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, not Sundays. Oh, that'll be swell. In the morning. <laughs> about 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock a.m. on Monday morning. You've got it. How long, You've got it. How long is the drive? About two hours? It's two and a, it's two and a half on a bad day. And make it nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Be here at nine or leave at nine? Make it nine o'clock. Okay. <laughs> All right, understood. Tell me if he starts with spinning or poking, I'm taking him to court. I'll have a man on the show watching, tell him. Who? Who? I d West Davenport. Oh, oh, of course. Understood. New Jersey. 097704. Wait, say it again. 097704. Oh, my hand is sweating so much it's not sticking. I don't want any toy telephones tapping in on tin terms. Boy telephones? Tell him. What? Tell him. T I'll tell him. Tell him what? Tell me what? I remembered, but I forgot. <laughs> no! Paul! <laughs> Are you sleeping back here? No. I'm sorry, I'm just tired. Okay, well, like, don't fall asleep back here. Eric and I still have another scene to do. It won't happen again. I'm right behind you. Okay. Have a good scene. Thanks. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. In Connect the Dots, the audience suggests an opening line. You're Don't touch it. that. A middle line. Do it again. And a closing line. You're too skinny. Forcing the actors to connect them all together. This is Connect the Dots. Don't touch that. <laughs> get, get your hand off your face. I'm sorry. Don't touch that. You're doing it again. I'm I 
slapping me. Sorry. Wow! <laughs> we can do the Star Spangled Banner. We could be famous. I, I suppose we could, but we're going to be continually attached like this. People that do the Star Spangled Banger. Bang, bang. The Star Spangled Banger. start writing a new song. The Star Spangled Banger. And we're going to be famous for that. Is that right? That sounds erotic. <laughs> rock and rot erotic rock and roll. Something along those lines. Ah! Uh, it was kind of nice. It was kind of nice. I'm not quite sure what you're doing right now. I'm okay. You're... I'm okay. So nothing is wrong. You're ah. not okay. You're not okay. Ah. Ah. I just walk around like Macaulay Culkin all the time. <laughs> this is okay, right? I just walk around. It's the reverse of... In Home Alone, he went... Ah. And I'm going... Syndrome. That's what it is! I've got reverse Macaulay Culkin syndrome! <laughs> no, but all the people that have that are fat. And you're too skinny. Okay, we're going to call all three actors. Uh, where's Paul? Uh, Come on, we'll, we'll go get him. Okay. Are you ready to do some improv? Am I? But where's Lee and Eric? Where here, right here. <laughs> there you are. Are you guys ready to do some improv? Improvisational games. Yes, yes. fun. We would love to, Paul. But, but first, first, you have to pay up. <laughs> I promised you wouldn't fall asleep. I'm sorry. What's happening? Actor's nightmare. How did you know? No, the next scene is actor's nightmare. Oh god, well we gotta go. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh. <sighs> Up next is actor's nightmare. At any time, the actor's emotions or traits can be changed by an offstage voice. As suggested by the audience, their relationship is... Lovers! This is actor's nightmare. I won't take this anymore. You just... Just spending all this time elsewhere, you're just clowning around, bumping around with other people. I've been in the penitentiary. <laughs> you think that's some kind of excuse? <laughs> if you really loved me, I killed that guy at the dance hall because he was making eyes at you. <laughs> I'm well from it now, though. I'm not like that anymore. Paul, you're eating. I just want to be with you. <laughs> and such. <laughs> if you wanted to meet with me, you would have broken out of that place. Oh, I wanted to so bad. You would have left there. <laughs> you would have left there been no witnesses to even have you be put in jail. You don't love me. Ooh, I get the feeling you're mad at me, but I just want to hug you. <laughs> you know? Don't you care? You haven't earned the right to hug me. You haven't earned the right. I was in the penitentiary for 12 years. Lee, you're suspicious. Were you, though? <laughs> <laughs> I got my papers. Oh, but I can't find them. I'm just so happy to see you. Mm, isn't that convenient? You just can't find your papers. <laughs> I'm so curious as to why you're circling me. Paul, you're depressed. And I haven't the nerve to look. <laughs> isn't that interesting? First, you don't have your papers. Now you don't have the nerve. I really wonder what's going on with you. <laughs> well, the, those 12 years, they changed me. Oh, did they? Mm. You how, how have you changed? When you kill a guy at a dance hall, <laughs> or someone who doesn't appreciate you, but you still hold on to that love that you once felt for them. Lee, you're intimidating. <laughs> so you love me, huh? <laughs> Wait, show me how much you love me. <laughs> oh, you're gonna beat me. Show me how much you love me! Paul, you're gay. <laughs> violence, 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 violence! Tell me! I want violence! Earn it! Come on, earn it! Oh! You have more! Yeah! Oh! This is great! Ah! 
be your apologetic. I'm so sorry. For what? Oh my god. For what? I, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. It didn't, are you sure? Does it hurt my hand? I wear rings. It probably hurt your face. It hurt. I'm a liar. I just want to please you. Oh god. I feel like you shouldn't have to do that. I mean, yeah, well, I'm, I'm so yeah. sorry to make you feel like. Don't go away. Don't go away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come closer. Yeah, I'll be sorry. Why are you so sorry all the time? Because I, I just did some really bad things. And yeah, you saw TikToks, I remembered. Yeah. 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 You didn't remember I killed a guy in the dance hall 12 years ago. Oh my god, I'm so, so sorry, sorry about that. I did it for you. Oh, you're demeaning. I did it for you. And was it worth it? No! <laughs> I'm sorry. No! I'm By some pigment deficient, <laughs> goofy hat wearing. <laughs> I'm hiding his receding hairline. Lee, you're demeaning. It's not receding! You're receding in intelligence! <laughs> well, I don't know what that means! Well, surprise, surprise! <laughs> Dumb yourself down! You're not funny all the time! Oh, I'm naive. And. I saw you hanging out with black people the other night. <laughs> And terrors blew up the Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> that is just... I'm gonna hit you again! Why do you make me hit you all the time? <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! God, you're just so stupid! And not... You're so stupid and naive and ignorant making all these assumptions about people! No, you don't know! You ignorant. You... Ignorant. <laughs> Paul, why are you acting so weird? You remember when I said there's nothing wrong? Yeah? I'm having a pitch attack. You don't mean... P-I-C-H. Pizza-induced clown hallucinations. I've been having them ever since I was a kid. It's a food disorder, not unlike bulimia or anorexia. I can't have junk food, particularly pizza, before I go to bed or else I have clown nightmares. I made a mistake! Curse this horrible disease! Should we call your mom? No! She worries enough about me. What I need from you two is your word that you will not mention clowns or any other circus folk for the rest of the night. Okay. Okay. I should be alright so long as I'm not upset by any reminders. Do I have your word? Take care of me, brother. Our final scene is understudy, in which an actor can tag out by saying understudy and be replaced by another actor. As suggested by the audience, Eric's occupation is... Circus clown. Rotten hell! Let's do it! <laughs> oh boy. This is understudy. <laughs> I just can't look you in the eyes and tell you. But it's just not going well, you see? Tell me what? <laughs> <laughs> You're not a big hit with the kids. The kids love me! Love me! <laughs> More importantly, you're not a big hit with me. Like I said, I can't look at you, but I gotta know that you're at least ten feet away from me. Do I have your word on that? I don't like that you're not saying nothing. It makes me anxious. It makes me feel like you're. Help yourself! Help yourself! So. It makes me feel like you're up to something. Why don't you look me in the eyes and tell me what you think? I already told you I can't do that. <laughs> Come on, don't be silly. Lady. Maybe you should be the one who shouldn't be so silly. Why don't we look in the mirror together? It's like a kind of like a. Oops. I'll look in the mirror, but I'm gonna close my eyes. Well, I'm looking at the spear. Look. Oh, my horn! My nose! Excuse me! <laughs> my nose! <laughs> my nose, please! <laughs> Look, I gotta tell you something. Tell me! And I don't think you're gonna like what I have to say. Go ahead! I don't... I don't think the clown thing's working out for you. I think you should try another career path. But all the kids! No! They got the same big old... Bullshit! The clown! <laughs>
for a while. Wouldn't it be bullshit? Bullshit? With that spelling? We've already got a brand, don't you understand? <laughs> so there's a brand out there. Bullshit is all over the all across the land. Well, all I'm saying. It's a brand, don't you understand? Across the land. <laughs> all I'm saying is maybe you should just cut out the funny business. Maybe you should be, maybe just the magician clown. Maybe lose the voice. I can't lose the voice that it was in a habit in an accident. I didn't choose this life. <laughs> I didn't choose this life. What about a mine? The original bullshit name. You could be a mine. for steel, steel buildings. You could be bullshit the mine. It's bullshit the mine? Bullshit the mine. <laughs> I never get to speak. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just No. So. So, uh. That was my suggestion. So? Because that's what you are. Bullshit. Excuse me? And I know that I'm gonna eat these ah! favors oh! and these clothes. Ah! But it's just a man, and you can't hurt me anymore. Thanks for taking care of me out there. Yay, got it!